The Love Affair event is on at Whole Foods Market with deals on delicious desires through February 14th. The floral department's in full bloom, so look for savings on double dozen bunches of roses. In the meat and seafood departments, save on animal welfare certified New York strip steaks and sustainable wild-caught lobster tails to make the night sizzle. Gifts from the wellness and beauty department are always a nice touch. And you have to grab those chocolate-dipped strawberries. Make Whole Foods Market your Valentine's Day destination. Introducing Royal Caribbean's newest ship, Icon of the Seas, the ultimate family vacation. The ultimate six slides, eight neighborhoods, zero compromise vacation. The ultimate never done that, can't wait to do it vacation. The ultimate chillin' by a different pool every day of the week vacation. This is the Icon of Vacations, Icon of the Seas, arriving in 2024. Book today. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2458. Be prepared for everything. Do anything. By Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your host and narrator. Hey there, happy middle of the week Wednesday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. And on Fridays, I answer your questions. Remember, you can send in a question by going to oldpodcast.com dot com slash ask or just send an email to health at oldpodcast.com. Now today is Wednesday and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. So with that, here we go. Quote, do what you can with what you have where you are. Theodore Roosevelt. And in fact, I think that quote is perfect for what today's author Steve Cam is going to discuss. So with that, Let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Be Prepared for Everything, Do Anything by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Hey Steve, we're going, insert awesome activity that Steve has never tried here. You in? 99 times out of 100, my answer is a resounding, hell yeah. Two weeks ago, my friend and I were hanging out and Rele, Thailand. Rele is a climber's paradise, home to absolutely gorgeous cliffs overlooking the Indian Ocean. Upon arrival, we explored the tiny town, checked out the rock walls, and decided that climbing would be a great way to spend the afternoon. Neither of us had ever been outdoor rock climbing before, and I had only been indoor climbing probably a handful of times, meaning five or less. However, I have been consistently exercising over the past three months Despite a hectic travel schedule, I've done pull-ups on tree branches, bus stop overhangs, kids swing sets as kids are sitting on them, and even part of the roof of a building at the Auckland airport. So I knew that I would at least be not awful at it. Although I had never done this particular activity before because I had spent the past few years building a solid base level of fitness, I knew I'd be able to hold my own. For the next three hours, my friend and I took turns making our way up various rock faces overlooking a beautiful beach as the sun set gloriously over the ocean behind us. There were no purple and green handholds to guide us up the wall or numbered system to figure out the correct path to take, just a natural rock wall, our brains, and a rope to keep us safe. By the end of the day, Our hands were raw from climbing, but we both had reached the top of four increasingly difficult routes. Unlike the sunset, the smiles on our faces just wouldn't fade. Climbing in Thailand was an experience I'll never forget. In fact, it was so epic that although it wasn't on the list previously, I've added it to my epic quest of awesome because it was that great. Prepare for everything, do anything. About a year ago, I was on the phone with a different friend who told me something that I'll never forget. He said, Steve, I talk about personal finance and you talk about fitness, but we're really in the same industry. We help people remove barriers from their lives that prevent them from doing what they really want. Boom. Reason number 3,423 why my friend is the man. He gets it. Although I write about things like push-ups, pull-ups, eating right, building confidence, the Shawshank Redemption, and great 80s movies, my real goal with nerd fitness is to help you literally level up your life. I can name probably a dozen things that I've done in the past four months on my trip 
that I probably couldn't have done successfully without being in good or great shape. I want to always be able to say yes to some exciting adventure without having to worry if my body is up for it. I run this site because I want to make sure that you can say yes to anything and everything that comes your way too. Life is filled with once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and it's the stories from these experiences that you'll be telling your grandkids about someday. I want to help you live a life full of as many amazing adventures as possible, and to do that, you need to be physically prepared for anything that might come your way. Now, want to know the best possible way to ensure you always get to say yes to these adventures? Strength training. Do you strength train? If you don't, I strongly encourage you to start yesterday. But because time travel isn't feasible yet, today will have to do. Although you can't really prepare for every activity in existence, it's completely possible and plausible for you to get yourself into great shape so that adapting to a new activity is a quick, enjoyable, and awesome experience. Think of it like skipping the newbie zones in every new video game you play. Instead of starting at level one with no weapon, you get to start at level 10 with some decent equipment. Yeah, it's not level 50 yet, but you're already ahead of every other newbie simply because you're more prepared than they are. In this nerd's humble opinion, the absolute best way to prepare for anything and everything is to strength train. Strength training protects you against injury by putting your body through functional, real-world movements. Strength training allows you to lose the right kind of weight, keeping your hard-earned muscle and only getting rid of the fat. Strength training will make any other activity you do easier and more efficient. Just ask nerd fitness rebels like one who shaved two minutes and 14 seconds off his 5K time in only six weeks by strength training. If you're getting older, want to know the best way to stay sharp, active, and young? Strength training. And you certainly don't need to join a gym either. Anywhere, everywhere, it doesn't matter. Just do it. Nike was onto something with that slogan. You just listened to the post titled, Be Prepared for Everything. Do Anything by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com and I'll be right back with my commentary. When you're hiring, it feels amazing to finally close out a job search. But what if you could get rid of the search and just match? You can with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. The Love Affair event is on at Whole Foods Market with deals on delicious desires through February 14th. The floral department's in full bloom. So look for savings on double dozen bunches of roses. In the meat and seafood departments, save on animal welfare certified New York strip steaks and sustainable wild caught lobster tails to make the night sizzle. Gifts from the wellness and beauty department are always a nice touch. And you have to grab those chocolate dipped strawberries. Make Whole Foods Market your Valentine's Day destination. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Today's author Steve said that strength training helps us lose the right kind of weight, meaning, As we're losing weight, we want to lose body fat, right? We want to hang on to our muscle and our water weight. When we lose weight, our bodies actually want to hang on to fat. The body thinks that there's a lack of food supply and wants to hang on to our fat stores for our survival. So the body starts to hang on to fat and breaks down muscle for fuel instead. But if we perform strength training or resistance training, same thing, we're forcing the body to hang on to that muscle. We're telling the body, we need to grow muscle instead of breaking it down to use it for fuel. So the body 
will be forced to find another source of fuel for energy. And what's a great source of long-term energy? Fat. So that means, eventually, if we strength train consistently and slightly reduce our calories or watch our calories, the body will eventually turn to burning fat. So, if and when you can, perform some resistance or strength training and do that consistently over time. Because just as Steve said, that will help the body lose the right kind of weight. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Thank you so much for listening and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.